Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and in today's lesson I've put together a workout involving what's called the cycle of fifths. Now I've put some links to some other videos in the description below that go into more detail about the theory of the cycle of fifths, which I think are really useful. And don't forget in the YouTube library over at Online Sax Academy, you can get the free PDF that accompanies today's lesson, which has all of the phrases that we've played today written out for you. So what we're gonna do first of all is go anti-clockwise around this cycle. And that creates what some people call a cycle of fourths. But interestingly, if you go five notes down, you end up on the same note as if you went four notes up. So you can think of this as still the cycle of fifths, it's just you're going down a fifth each time. So the first exercise is literally just to go anti-clockwise around the cycle of fifths, playing the root notes, meaning when we're on the C chord, we play the note C. Now, if you play tenor sax, you can still play along with this. It's just you start one step over and you start from the F chord playing an F. do next is treat this cycle not just as a group of notes but as key centers so instead of just thinking C we're gonna think C minor and what we're gonna do is play this phrase So what we're doing here is going up and down the first five notes of the minor scale, and then we're going up and down the chord tones or the arpeggio, also sometimes called the triad, the first, third and fifth notes. And these are really important notes to get your fingers around. And what we then do is play that exact same phrase, but now we step over to F minor and you would play that same phrase in F minor, and then you would step around to B flat minor and you keep stepping all the way around the cycle until you're back where you started. So what you're learning when you're doing this is the first five notes of every minor scale, and you're learning the minor arpeggio of every scale but you're doing this in the classic order of the cycle of fifths or fourths if you prefer to think of it like that. All right so let's try the second part of the workout. Again tenor saxophones you start from the F position when you go around. next thing you can use this cycle of fifths for is also to practice learning any phrases or licks that you've learned. So what we're going to do is learn this blue scale phrase. And we're going to put that around the cycle of fifths. The way you would do this is you convert this lick into its scale degree numbers and then you just plug in those numbers into the new blues scale that you're going to use. And what you're learning when you put a lick around the cycle of fifths like this is you really get to know the scale that that lick is made up from. And this opens up your ears as well because you'll start to recognize the sound of these scale degrees in other phrases and licks. All right, so let's put this blue scale lick around the cycle.
So far, everything we've been playing has been starting on the root note of the key we're in. What we're going to do now is take a really famous jazz phrase, but it starts on the second note of a minor chord. So this is what the phrase sounds like. <laughs> And you can see we're going 2, 1, 5, flat 3, 2, 1. And so exactly the same thing, we're now going to plug in those numbers into each of the keys. Now this is similar to the blue scale lick in that you're really getting to know your scales more deeply and learning those scale degrees. But it's got that extra complication in that you're not starting on the first degree, you're starting on the second degree of the key you're in. Okay, so now we'll put this jazz phrase around the cycle. Okay, and just as a bit of fun, what you can do is take this really familiar pattern, one, two, three, five. Junk or Train love to use this, and you can put that around the cycle. Of course, you can use YouTube's playback speed settings to slow this down a bit, but with this one, we're really pushing the tempo and starting to get our fingers moving. And we're gonna fly around that cycle just playing one, two, three, five in each of the key centers. So that sounds something like this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is put it all together. So we're going to start with just playing the root note, taking that round the cycle, then playing up and down the first five notes of the minor scale plus the arpeggio. Then we move on to our blues phrase, then we have our minor phrase, and finally the track speeds up a bit and we finish with that one, two, three, five. All right, so here's that full workout.
don't forget to head over to Online Sax Academy to get your free PDF that accompanies today's lesson. And if you're not currently a member, head over to the memberships page where you can find out about all the amazing things we have on offer. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.